Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. Um, this is kind of interesting. This is actually going to be the second time I've uploaded this. Uh, first time just didn't work for whatever reason, so using uh, using my phone to record this this time. So here we go. What we got here is my top 13 non-horror movies. Um, if you watch my channel, if you see the videos I upload, you know I'm pretty much mainly a horror fan. But, you know, there are a lot of other good movies out there, so here's just a few of them. Let's get it going. First, this is in no particular order, this is just, you know, what I like. First up, Fight Club. Great movie by David Fincher. Um, I'll say about this movie like I'm probably going to say for most of them more than likely you've heard of these movies before so I'm not going to go into a whole review just going to say whether it's you know I think it's good obviously um, Fight Club you can get it really cheap buy it you'll enjoy it great movie next up Blade Runner by Ridley Scott. Great movie. Uh, one of the best sci-fi. Excuse me. One of the best sci-fi movies ever made, as far as I'm concerned. Again, you can get it pretty cheap nowadays. Not this particular version. This is a Warner Brothers Blu-ray book. So pick it up. Definitely worth it. Next up. Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket. Possibly one of the best war films ever made. Um, again, Warner Brothers Blu-ray book. You can get this, again, pretty cheap nowadays. Buy it. Excellent movie. Next up. M by Fritz Lang. This movie is a little lesser known than the other ones I've mentioned. Um, 1931 German flick. Uh, it has a release through Criterion actually in the US, but this is a Eureka Masters of Cinema British release. Um, excellent movie. Excellent movie. If you haven't seen it, look it up. You know, you won't be disappointed. It's a great flick. So there you go. Next up, Touch of Evil. A lot of people probably say Citizen Kane's a better movie. It's both by Orson Welles, but um, for me, Touch of Evil. Great movie. Great movie. This particular one, again, is a Eureka Masters of Cinema British release. Um, Steelbook. <laughs> Um, so it's region locked, but there is a U.S. release. Um, if you've never seen it, great, like, I don't even know if you could call it a d detective movie, but kind of in that vein. Great flick. Pick it up. Next up, The Maltese Falcon. Yeah. Yeah. Humphrey Bogart, Mary Astor, buy it, good movie. Next up, Boys in the Hood. Again, not going to go into it. Great movie, great shots, good Blu-ray. You can buy it for like, you know, five bucks nowadays. Pick it up, excellent movie. And we got the usual suspects. Not even going to say anything. Next up, Platoon. Along with Full Metal Jacket, possibly the best two war films ever made, at least in my opinion. Uh, and yet again, you, you can find this for about five, six bucks, so go for it. Next up, 
Clockwork Orange. Another Stanley Kubrick flick. You know, uh, again, another Warner Blu-ray book. You've probably heard about this movie. Most people have. I mean, I'd actually venture to say probably 99% of the population has heard of this movie. If you haven't, look on YouTube, look on uh, Wikipedia, whatever. Um, if you like what you see, pick it up, because it's a great movie. It really is. Okay, next up, Blues Brothers. Great comedy, all-around great movie. Buy it. Next up, Shawshank Redemption. Again, there's nothing really to say about this. Um, it's excellent. Pick it up. And finally, which is possibly my favorite non-horror movie as far as I'm concerned, Falling Down, Joel, Joel Schumacher film, again, Warner Blu-ray book, uh, essentially a flick about what happens when you push somebody way too far, and that's it, really, I mean, buy this one movie, if you don't listen to anything else I've said, buy this one, it's a great movie, you'll like it. Okay, well, that's it for now. See you next time.